Culture Buzz, shalom. My name is Yair Barak. I was born in 1973 uh, in Hodesha, Israel. We're now uh, at my solo exhibition at the Dan Gallery. It's called Plagiarism and Revolutions. Um, the name uh, of the exhibition is actually a misquote by the French painter Paul Gauguin, who claimed that art is either plagiarism or revolution. I'm trying to claim that art is always a plagiarism as well as revolution. And I will try to example those uh, uh, issues uh, around two uh, pieces that are in the show right now. So, uh, uh, generally speaking about uh, this uh, show of mine, it uh, deals with uh, questions of uh, classicism versus modernity. Uh, it offers uh, a discussion about originality and replicas uh, and reproductions or productions versus reproductions. Um, the work is um, generally um, multidisciplinary um, um, discussion. Uh, it starts from photography, which is my uh, base in art, and then uh, leads towards uh, installation, video installation, and even kinetic uh, sculpture. Actually, for the first time in my career, I'm dealing with uh, moving objects. So uh, maybe we can turn to one of the uh, pieces in the show and further talk about the theme of the exhibition. So uh, this uh, huge line beyond this uh, red uh, curtain, so sort to of speak, is uh, um, originally a monument that was built during the early 20th century in Lucerne, Switzerland. Uh, it began uh, with a childhood memory of me. I was six years old with my parents in Lucerne and it was a very emotional experience for me. Uh, and then probably uh, 32 to 33 years later, I came back to Lucerne to take a shot of this uh, dying lion. The monument was built uh, as a reminiscent of uh, the uh, Swiss army uh, defeat to the uh, French during the French Revolution. And I found it quite amazing that it is one of the only monuments in the history of um, word monument monumentality that was built uh, to remind us a defeat and not a triumph. So this kind of uh, a strange narrative uh, was very touching to me. Uh, then later on I decided to take this image and turn it into a sculptural object in, uh, in the uh, exhibition space. Uh, it was done by, uh, by layering uh, bread plexi, uh, plexiglass in front of the image. Uh, so the viewer actually has to cross through the red filter. Uh, the red filter symbolizes uh, uh, on one hand uh, violence and blood, but uh, uh, another thought came up that actually the defeated uh, leopard here is becoming uh, a prostitute that is actually lying uh, behind a, a red window, as we know in, uh, in Amsterdam and other cities in the world. Um, so this uh, complexity of an image uh, becoming an object and a monument uh, uh, that was built upon a defeat and not a triumph, this is all a kind of a dialectics that my work deals with quite a lot. Um, another piece that we can try to uh, talk about is a video installation that is actually quite complex because uh, it starts from a video projection or a video projection that is uh, projected on the opposite wall, but uh, the projector itself um, is actually uh, transferring the light uh, across or through um, this kind of strange object, quite surreal object that is actually a hybrid of uh, a photographic hood that uh, actually was brought from my uh, photography studio and then it is attached to an oak tree or an oak branch, um, an oak tree um, and the, the light that, uh, that project, uh, is projected on uh, the wall, the screen, is actually uh, producing a shadow that is lying on On the wall. Now, the image, the video projecting itself, is, uh, is a documentation of the facade of the Pergamon Museum in Berlin, uh, one of the greatest um, temples of uh, history's uh, uh, thefts, I'd say, uh, one of the biggest crime scenes of Western culture, a place where uh, the Western culture is actually 
stolen a huge amount of uh, the archaeological uh, um, treasures of the east uh, of uh, Babylon, of, uh, in Greece, and, uh, and the Egyptian culture. And somehow it became such a popular um, site to visit, and I found it quite amazing that people are attached to a place where, that is actually a, a quite an amazing uh, crime scene. Uh, so uh, you can notice uh, a red and white uh, stripe or a band that is um, stretching in front of the Pergamon Museum. And uh, that uh, red and white band was actually originally there in the place. It's a found object. Uh, and then somehow in a strange way I um, found out that uh, this is kind of a band that police use in order to To create a kind of a limitation or a border, uh, not to be uh, not to be uh, uh, entered by by the public in case of a, of a crime scene. So uh, I found it quite inherent to the theme of the work. And then eventually, this uh, branch of oak tree is actually right now uh, quite steady. But if we uh, go over here, then usually. ventilator is, uh, is trying to <coughs> move in a very gentle way those uh, old leaves and uh, this branch and in a weird way the, the, the shadow of the branch is becoming an integral part of the image in the video so the viewer is in a kind of a misunderstanding regarding the origin of the shadow. So that is uh, in a few words the theme of plagiarism exhibited in Dan Gallery until January 25th and uh, you are 